Good morning, everybody. It is March 2nd, I believe. About to go get the morning coffee. I think it's like, well, I'm using my phone to record, so I'm not. It is 8 o'clock on the dot. 7.59, actually. I'm gonna go get some morning coffee per usual. Uh, of course, we're going to Big B, the usual. Uh, I tried to get a Big B hoodie, like an authentic one, and they, uh, they're like not allowed to hand them out or sell them or anything. So we went on Amazon and found this uh, random company that decided to stick this on a hoodie and that's what I got. And then I walked in and they're like, where did you get that? And I was like, Amazon, cause you wouldn't give me one. <laughs> oh, and I need a haircut, by the way. the mask. Pause, b-roll. Cue b-roll. And now of course we have to get gas like every day. Awesome. You know if I just get more than like a quarter a tank at a time I wouldn't have to get gas every day but I just hate sitting at the pump that long like it just takes forever. And uh Oh, so I was in Big B and somehow, oh, I dropped my phone. I was taking the video, like just a random shot or whatever. Dropped my phone and bounces all over the ground, like tile, hard ground. So me and this guy just, just sparked conversation. We're talking about how expensive phones are and how ridiculous it is to fix them and all this and that. So that was my morning conversation at uh, Big B. And now I'm going to go rinse off the Jeep because it's a little dirty. And it's supposed to be a couple decent days, I think. So maybe it'll stay clean. Probably not. Usually as soon as, as soon as I pull in the car wash, it starts raining or something. Or as soon as I pull out of the car wash. But let's go rinse this thing down. And then, um, of course, we got to get that gas. Oh, man. They put up the back door things. Now it's going to be freezing in the winter. This car wash, I don't know what they do around for you guys, but... They uh, put down like blankets or like tarps. Once I turn around here, you can see they're at the top there. And they roll down and you pretty much like either drive or back into the the bay. And that way the wind can't blow like all the way through and it, it makes it so much better, especially when they have the heated water or the hot water to <laughs> the heated water. gloves and the water was not heated like i talked about and they obviously didn't have oh i can't feel my pinky oh, woo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the jeep is fairly clean it's not perfect i did not use the brush and i just pretty much went around her with the soap and power wash everything and then went around and just rinsed it off and once i got done with the soap i was like oh i'm done i'm going in getting in the jeep i can't feel my hands so i was like crap that was soap i need to rinse it off and then i'm just really freezing so let's go get some gas in this hog and uh lower back down we're to the moon that's one thing that's nice about this airlift or quadri lift whatever uh you want to go by with whatever can't talk blade need more coffee <sighs> all right so that's one thing that's nice about this is when you wash Go, like go to the car wash to wash the jeep or whatever i like raise it all the way up so that way i can get in the wheel wells like 10 times easier and then once i'm done with like washing underneath it and the wheel wells and the wheels and everything then i'll come back in and i'll lower it all the way down and then i can reach the top and like get off the giant sunroof and rinse it off really good that way so it is pretty convenient for that reason but other than that it kind of is just, it's there. Oh, you guys want to see uh, my wonderful windshield wiper? You ready for it? 
You ready for it? Oh, jalopy. <laughs> really conservative with my money and like I don't like buying anything. So I was gonna swap the windshield wiper, swap them around so I at least, uh, you know, I get my side clean. But the windshield wipers are actually two different sizes. They're, one's a 20 and one's a 21. So I don't know how well that work out. So I really just need to go buy one or buy a set or whatever, but I just haven't gotten around to it and it hasn't rained yet. So it hasn't been an issue. But it is definitely uh, quite annoying because like, look at that side. Beautiful. Yeah, I guess I don't need to see. So gas price here in Michigan is, right now it is 275, I believe. 270 something, maybe 279. I don't know. It was 279 yesterday. But let me know let me know down in the comments uh what the gas price is where you're at. So I think I might stick this across across right about here. It's just, it just says uh bluecollarbranding.com. Check it out. I'll put the link in the uh, description. Uh, might put that there, not sure yet. I'm kind of afraid because I I'm not gonna lie. Uh I I drive fast and I don't like being behind people. So a lot of people probably frown, frown upon my, uh, the way I drive, but it, like, I'm, I'm sorry. I've just like, I got places to be and I'm wasting my time when I'm following you and you're going under the speed limit. All right, so here's the messy freezing cold wood shop. Uh, I usually turn this on, but it's out of fuel and I don't feel like making a fire because by the time I make a fire and it warms up, I'll probably be done in here. Uh, I just gotta get this sheet of eighth inch ply that is under absolutely everything and uh, cut out just uh, basically a square. It's, I think it's like 29 by 30, just shy 32 or something like that. I got the measurements on my phone. Uh, just for the back of that, and then uh, we'll go out to the shop and paint that. I got to bring the screws. You know, I want to say, oh, I got a couple, cut a couple uh, squares, just as some plywood to use for shims on the caster wheels I got to put underneath this cabinet. So let's go ahead and get that knocked out and go to the warmth. Well, I uh, I knew there was a reason why I, I didn't record that. Uh, that would be because the comment section would blow up about the very unsafe skills I just used. The, the sheet was, it's almost easier to cut a thicker sheet down like that. Cause it doesn't like flex and, doesn't flex and bend so bad and is like super hard to support, but we got it cut. And of course I ended up with the piece with the stickers on it. Danger is loaded down heavy. I'll go out to the shop and get her at her. Yup, get her at her. Ooh, cold today. Oh yeah. Wrong way. Oh, she's cold. I don't know how much gas is in this thing. Um, you can move the gauge with your finger and it, it just goes back to uh, half a tank all the time. So I always just get gas like pretty much whenever I feel it's needed. Oh, and I can't calculate my gas off the odometer because that doesn't move either. <laughs> Pretty much the only thing that works is the tack and the speedo when it wants to. But uh, that's what you get for 500 bucks. Thing is a unit. Sometimes she starts, sometimes she doesn't. Door panel, self tap mod on. All right, so. Camera's pretty much done. I touched up all the paint like yesterday, I believe it was. Um, so this little bracket piece right here that helps guide the door can be screwed back on. You can see the holes are already there. Um, this is bolted on good. Once I put the door on, there's another cap like this that goes on this end. Um, so I pretty much got to paint uh, the inside of this panel, which is this side, and screw it on the back. And I have to flip the whole thing over and put these four casters on. The uh, guy wanted it to be on casters. So these little blocks are going to shim up the caster, or casters. <laughs> uh, they're gonna shim up the casters so that they are the right height underneath the cabinet so they work. 
Um, and I have it to where it's just barely off the ground, so it doesn't necessarily look like it's on wheels. They're, they're hidden and tucked underneath. But I gotta throw another coat of poly on uh, this board. This is the top. It's kind of got a weird dark line. Obviously you can see this is the line where I glued the two boards together and then divided it up into four and just took the table saw to make basically like a little nerf, little line in it to give some more character. It would be a lot better probably if this line would have been in line with my glue up line and not had this random, I don't really know why that is a darker strip because like the right here is the same board as this. It just has this little line in it that I cut. So I don't know, but it doesn't look too bad. I guess it would definitely look a lot better without that. But we need one more coat of poly on this and this is ready to go on. All right, we got the back painted and drying and we got the wheels on the cabinet. Works pretty good and our measurements, measurements came out clear. We have uh, just a slight gap so you can't see the wheels and it's as low as possible to the ground with by still rolling on the wheels. So looks good. And this thing is just looking huge. Like it's seriously, the machine is huge. We, like when we got it, we're like, wow, that is a lot bigger than our old one. <laughs> but this thing is an absolute beast and it is so fun to run. And anytime I ever go to do anything, I will move that to get this out. <laughs> Ooh wee! That'd be looking good. Fan right there, fairly close to it. So I'm hoping that blows down some heat onto this to kind of heat up and get the little air bubbles and stuff out of it. I forgot on the previous one I did, I used a uh, foam brush, like an arts and crafts type of foam brush, and that worked better for the poly. It got more of a smooth finish and less air bubbles. And this time I use this giant brush. Um, I didn't have another one of those foam brushes and just using what I can. And it's getting like super annoying buying brushes left and right. Uh, Cause pretty much every time I use one, it's trash. I try to rinse it out. Like the paint ones I'll rinse out and at least use twice. But the ones for the poly and stuff, there's not really, I tried to rinse out the one yesterday and my hands were covered in polyurethane and the brush is like rock hard today. So that was a no-go, but this is looking pretty good and hopefully it dries up pretty uh, shiny. I really wish that random stripe in the middle wasn't there, but let's just pretend it's supposed to be. Um, but other than that, just waiting for that pan back panel to dry and I can screw that on. And once this is dry, I can screw this on and put it together, it should be good. I do need to get a little bit of felt fabric to put on the inside of this uh, so it doesn't rub against the door and make a, a mark because uh, that happened on the previous one I built. But uh, I'm getting kind of hungry, so we might go get some food. I'm not sure. Kind of with some chip pottle, but I don't really want to spend the money on it. Might just go to the house and make a old, uh, make old trusty dusty peanut butter and jelly with some chips. Uh, <laughs> not sure yet. Peanut butter jelly. Cheese puffs. Mountain Dew. Got enough crap? No. Bree, I forgot. I forgot, Bree. Okay. We got tropical smoothie. Bree. <laughs> <laughs> Bree got the Jeep out like two weeks early. Now we only got half the salt all over the, the Jeep. But I like waving to everybody. Oh! <laughs> Man, I totally should have recorded that. Dalton. Uh, was driving by as I was in the turn lane waiting to pull into good old Big B, and uh, I like was standing out of the window like waving at him, and he and he had a red light and he needed to stop anyways. So he like rolls up real slow next to me. We stick our hands out, high five at like thirty roll, smack both our hands, and uh, now I'm here, at Big B, getting my second coffee of the day. You know, usual two coffees a day. It's uh 4:03 p.m obviously and uh getting my second coffee i'm going to abe's my buddy abe's talked to him about some things 
and some possibilities. And then might go to Dalton's to pull a motor out of his old truck that I want to build. Believe it or not, you're not helping. Thank you. <laughs> I was, I was, uh, <laughs> all through it. Uh, I was trying to move the Jeep to get the weave going, you know? Yeah, it really helped. It really helped spread it around. <laughs> helped spread the whole around. Yeah. <laughs> Wallow, wallowed her out there for you? Yeah, I just want airflow in the summertime. <laughs> Little floor rust hole repair. What, yeah, with a tag. Dude's a tag welder for a living, so you know. Can, can never break out the MIG welder. You got a tag for life now. <laughs> we'll get her though. My little, I was rocking the Jeep and uh, apparently helped the heat transfer to about everything other than what he was trying to do. <laughs> Alright guys, it is like the next day or the next day two days after the, everything you just watched um if you have been on the channel for well it'd be like almost close to maybe two years since i've uploaded um but you know that i am horrible at making outros and i always forget to do that and tell you guys goodbye so i just got done editing everything you just watched and i realized that once again i did not make an outro so I just want to say thanks for watching and I'm excited to see what this channel can bring. I really want to stick to this. I regretted uh, stopping pretty much ever since I stopped. Uh, I just didn't really have like the support and everything throughout school and was busy with all the school crap that nobody likes to do. And uh, I didn't really, it got to the point where there wasn't a lot for me to record to make these videos with. And so I kind of, that's kind of why I stopped. Um, but I'm going to be taking some different opportunities and trying to get into different trades and learning new things and just expanding my knowledge and arsenal. Um, so if you guys could subscribe and, uh, <clears throat> give the video a thumbs up, uh, down below. My buddy and I have a clothing brand that I think I mentioned to talk about a sticker, uh, putting on the Jeep in the video. Uh, bluecollarbranding.com I'll put that link in the description as well um, even just you checking it out uh, helps us a lot um, but other than that I just want to say thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for I have no idea what <laughs> honestly <laughs> but I am going to get that engine from uh, my buddy and I want to build it to 5.3 I want to just kind of mild build and then once it's done I'll have to uh It'll give me a reason to buy something else to uh, put it in. So stay tuned for that. And again, thank you. Peace.